Hey guys, this is Sick Ripper for Life. Um, I'm going to show you how to tether, use a tethering on your Samsung Instinct phone. Um, Sprint doesn't allow you to use this, so this is kind of like a little tip trick. Um, first off, when you first get it, it comes with a CD. Can't really see it, my light's off. But it a, has a driver on there. You don't need anything else. All you need is a driver. Make sure it's installed. And you're gonna need the USB cable and you're gonna need a program I don't know if you can see the title but it says CDMA workshop this will allow you to get the code that you need to deactivate the modem settings on your phone um, first off after you install the driver um, connect it through USB and you're gonna make sure it doesn't say connected to computer if it does disconnect um, it'll still be connected to your computer, your computer will recognize it. And on your phone, um, you're gonna go to the dial and you're gonna enter debug 33 uh, 2846363U. And then the number key again. It's gonna say enter current code. And for that code, you're gonna use this program. You're gonna have to find out com your the com number the your phone is connected to. And the uh, B A U D rate has to be eleven fifty two double zero. And to find out the com number, you go to your device manager, which is through the control panel and device manager right there. And uh, you're gonna go, it's gonna say port, com, and LPT. And it's gonna say Samsung Mobile Modem Diagnostic Serial Port. And in parentheses, this will say WDM and COM5. That, well, that's mine's connected to COM5. Um, figure that out, put it there, a little drop down menu. Put COM5 or whatever you're connected to. And then you're gonna click connect over here I'm already connected I don't know if you can see that after you connect to the phone you don't insert anything on the information here you go straight to security and on the password you're gonna go down to Samsung default and then you click send and it's gonna pop up menu says I mean the dialog box says password is correct phone unlocked and then your password for the current code would be right here whatever that may be and once you find out that number you go back to your phone unlock it and you enter the number mine is two four three six. and after you do that you're gonna click done and you enter the debug menu see this is debug on the top here, debug and you're gonna come down to the toggle and AI click that mine's already off but right there it's gonna say on modem and AI and off modem and AI you want this off because since you're using it without Sprint knowing you don't want them to trace it back to your phone I mean not trace they still can trace it to your phone but if you download like a really big file uh, but this will help you enable the tethering with the phone so you don't have to go by the internet and you click off and you just click done and that's all you need with your phone and then you're gonna come back over here to the start menu and you're gonna go to connect to and as you can see I already have it set up Samsung tether dial up connection and to set this up you just go to set up connection it has to be the dial-up connection. It has to. It won't work with anything else. And just click next and click the Samsung Mobile. And for the dial phone number, you're going to enter the number key and 777. Seven, seven. And for the password and the username, you do not need anything. It will still connect. Don't worry about it. And right here, connection name. It has dial-up connection. You can name it whatever you want. Mine is Samsung Tether. Um, you this one you don't really need, and you just click connect, and it's gonna test the connection. 
I will connect it, dialing, and it's going to test the connection, but since it takes too long to test the connection, um, I'm just going to skip it, because I already have it, and then it's going to, oh yeah, well mine's going to save, unsuccessful, but I don't care, uh, close that out, and you're no longer going to need this program, you already have the code, and then you just go to connect to when you're done, and you your connection, whatever you named it, and it will connect. Oh yeah, you have to click dial. Like I said, you don't need no username or password, it will still connect. And it will say successfully connected to Samsung set tether. You exit out, and on your phone, you'll see the little laptop. And on the bottom, you'll have two bars. Mine says RX and TX. And it should work after that, and if it doesn't, let me know. Um, and you just click a browser of your choice, LX Safari. Um, when you first open it, it might take a little while, but once it, the computer gets used to the connection, it'll start going faster. And uh, it shouldn't. It should work no matter what. It loads up slow, I don't know why. See all the websites I go to. Um, so yeah, it'll work, and it works. And you're connected to Samsung Tether. See, it says right there. Samsung Tether to access local and internet. Um, and stick em, stick them, or whatever you'll call it. It works. And I'll prove it again that it works. Go to Yahoo, and it works. And you can pretty much browse anything, but what I don't recommend is you trying to download a really big file, like one gig or something, because it might alert Sprint and uh, cancel your service. They can cancel your contract because you're not supposed to be using it. Um, anyways, comment if you have any questions. And, um, yeah, subscribe.